We're here with Brad Vale of Bird Construction. Brad, tell us a little bit about you. So, I guess I grew up in construction. Um, I work for Bird Construction Company now. I've been here about, oh, I think it's right around eight years. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm currently working on the Moncton Downtown Center. It's a new arena for the Wildcats. Uh, it's mm -hmm. a very, very large project. I mean, it's as big as they get around here. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's uh, just under, under the size for a, an NHL arena, I guess. Wow, that's quite a project. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's bigger than Harbor Station as well. So, obviously working this size of a construction project, there's challenges you're facing every day. What, what were some of the big ones you face? There's a, the normal challenges with uh, just drawings that you got to try and figure out details and everything, but I find the largest challenges I deal with are with the people, mm. with the different uh, personalities, um, trying to cope with how to, how to manage everyone. And, mm. uh, Okay. People skills are a big, big part of this. That's where my biggest challenge is. Okay, so that's one of the reasons you took the Dale Carnegie course? Yes, it is. Okay, so what did you get from that program? So for me, stress was a big thing. It was a big part of this job. That's one of the items. Um, just in the course, it, there's a lot of different aspects and different ways of dealing with the stress. Mm. Um, so I used a lot of those tools, and even today I'm still applying them, and I'm continually reading through it to to use more and more. because You can't apply all of them at one time. You can't remember every single thing. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a learning process and kind of moving forward trying to make sure that those are kind of bred into what you do and the way you think. Okay. And So another thing I took out of it was just uh, just dealing with people. Okay. There was uh, 30 different principles that we learned um, and how to how to get people to, to buy into what you're saying, uh, getting them to agree and say yes to what you what you want, um, okay. changing their opinions and without doing it in a negative way or mm -hmm. or making them think that you are forcing them to say something. Okay. Getting people to disagreeably agree, I think is the way it's said. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way and, to put uh, it. So, and it's, it's quite challenging because you're, you, there's so many different personalities. Mm. So now... You know, the course has been finished a couple of months, and when you took the class, of course, you had these challenges. How are you dealing with these challenges now with, now that you have the skills? Now that I have the skills, I, I try and re refresh myself every once in a while by kind of reading through them again. Okay. I just kind of pick, take an hour, an hour or two every week and I actually read through them. Um, but applying these skills, I find I'm, I'm dealing with these personalities a lot better. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to find, find ways to make them see what I'm saying and, get, and agree with it. And I, I don't win every every challenge, and nor should I, mm -hmm. um, but I can come up with some good compromises uh, from using these skills. Wow, sounds like you had some really good successes. I did. I'm, I'm very pleased with the course. I, I highly recommend it for anyone. So let's, let's just talk about that. Let's say there's some people that are watching this video that said, you know, I wonder what this course is about. What can I get from it? I mean, if you had 20 seconds to say, give some advice, what would it be? I think you've got to be open to change. Mm -hmm. I think you've got to be open to learning new things and realize that, that there are different ways and maybe not always better, but different things you can use to, to improve your success on, on your, with your job. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Any final words, Brad? Uh, I guess just I'd honestly recommend the course for anyone. I don't think it, it matters whether you're CEO of a company, whether you're a laborer on site. I think we all interact with people every day, mm -hmm. and, and learning these different ways to interact, uh, to, to improve your interaction, I think anyone can use that, and mm -hmm. I, I just highly recommend it. Excellent. Thank you for taking the time, Brad. Thanks.